Hey everybody, Jessica here, and I'm here to do a little tutorial. I'm furiously working on uh, updates for the Creative Couture, and I'm working on updates for Instagram. So I'm very excited about that, and I'm working on a new product, which I'm even more excited about. Um, if you haven't already checked out the Creative Couture Collection, check it out. Um, this one is inspired by um, fashion and couture. It's got a whole section of glitter and sequin styles. Um, it's got textiles. It's got jeweled effects, um, encrusted metals, liquid metals, just, um, just a whole bunch of different new styles that are completely, completely different from Instagram. And uh, so it's super cool. I totally love it. And so I got a request to do like a little bit of a, a loose glitter effect. So I'm going to show you with Couture first. And all the brushes are the sa same. Now, um, as you know, Instagram comes with about 100 dynamic Photoshop brushes. And when I launched Creative Couture, I added about 50 new Creative Couture brushes. So the people who bought Creative Couture have 150. And I'm getting ready to do another uh, update to Instagram and I'll add those uh, new uh, brushes from Creative Couture, which mainly they're like jeweled sort of shapes. So that's the main theme of that. Uh, most of them are like different jewel shapes. But you're gonna have them very soon. If you need them or want them sooner, send me a message and I'll send you a link but I just don't want to be updating um, Instagram like every day or two. So I'm trying to wait till I get everything done until I officially update it. <clears throat> but uh, what I'm going to do is run my Paint Rich Gold Couture Action. I'm going to hit play. This would be like running your Paint Gold Glam Action in Instagram. And same process. So I'm going to look for my red layer. And I'm going to go through and show you which brushes are best for glitter and a couple little tips that I have. So I'm going to just go through here. As you can see, I kind of don't plan my tutorials very well um, in advance. Okay, here's a confetti hex sequin, which sequins and glitter is a lot of times, you know, uh, like a hex shape. So I'm going to start with that. And one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my left bracket to size that down. That's one of the key if you want something to be like glitter is to size down your brush a few times um, until it's pretty small and then you can play with it and then you can kind of see um, the different effects here. So that's pretty cool, pretty um, good size. And also another big tip that I can give you is to go into your pattern and you can also scale this down so it's like more even more refined but I'm going to just leave that at 100%. And as you see on my Creative Couture collection, I've got like, you won't see so many big differences when it's in this fine of a thing, but you can see all the different, the dark to the light transitions and everything. So um, I'll just leave this as a rich glitter. Nine is fine. I'll hit OK. Um, but there's so many different styles. So that is one of the, any of the confettis. I would go with the flat though, because um, rather than the bouquet, because the flat ones are going to, um, oy, let's undo that. The flat ones, like if you're doing glitter and it's thrown on a, thrown on a piece of paper, it's not going to be like all different it's not farther back in space or anything like that. So you'd want kind of a flat effect. So here's another one, a confetti one. And you just size that down and everything gets more fine. So confettis, um, I use the confetti hex sequin. That was a good one. I'm going to cut those and look for some more here. Let's hear uh, delicate glitter. Okay, I would say that's a good giveaway. That's a good one. And uh, let's see how big it is. It's not too bad. So you can just drop that down and you've got all the sparkle from the pattern and then you've got the brush makes a great glitter. And as always here, let's see what else we've got. 
let's see here, the gem trail. I'm going to check that out. That's pretty good. Well, it's, that's not too bad. It's a little bit different. They're all different like little effects. Now the gem ones, this is the brushes from the, uh, from the Creative Couture. So if you've got Instagram and you want these before my update, send me a message on Creative Market directly, please. Um, I actually have a lot of people that write things right away in the comments, but I prefer people to actually use comments, um, put their comments there. If you've got a support request, anybody who's messaged me knows that I um, write back really fast um, as long as I'm at the computer. So uh, just send me a message. Um, Glimmer Airbrush, that's, that's pretty cool. That's kind of nice, like you could just uh, airbrush and fill that in and then go with like uh, one of the confettis, like the confetti hex sequin and kind of just play around with combinations of those. So you've got a lot of different things here. Okay, so we were at the Glimmer Airbrush. And one thing on my perennial to-do list is to make an official um, little chart of all these brushes. But it's actually hard because some of them are so big and crazy and a lot of them are scatter brushes and confetti. So it's kind of hard to like um, bring the, you know, make a nice little chart of those. Although I do have a lot of them on my uh, Instagram. Let's see what else we've got here that's good for glitters. This one's kind of, what's your loose glitter trail. Oh, that's great. I like that one. That's kind of a little bit different. Um, it doesn't have a lot of the separate pieces, but if you know, you can play with this and then add some of the confettis around the edges to make them like loose. Um, Lush gold drop trail. That's a good one. So see, you could just paint that around there. I think the Lush Gold Drop Trail is a really pretty good one for some loose, some loose glitter. Magic Dust is pretty cool. I like that. And you know, if you ever just need them to be a little bit smaller, although the Magic Dust is pretty fine, but you can uh, just hit the left bracket and that will size it down, left or right brackets. And let's see if there's anything else fabulous. Sequin confetti light. That's a little bit, the shapes are more like um, different perspective. So it's not just like a flat drop glitter, but it's kind of cool. And I might go Thick Jewels Classic, although this is going to be kind of big, so I will want to take that down. And that's kind of nice because that has like a, that has the hex glitter shape. But I would say probably my favorite one would be Probably the Lush Gold Drop Trail. That one was pretty cool. The Loose Glitter Trail is pretty neat. And then all of the confetti, um, all of the confetti uh, up at the top was really good. And of course, the Glimmer Airbrush and, uh, oh, there's too many to look through. But all the ones that I showed you. Seems like there was some other one. I really like the airbrush. I think there's one that's actually called glitter, but it's probably not the first word. Oh, delicate glitter. That's great too. So I hope you enjoy my a little unorganized uh, tutorial, but I wanted to get that out tonight and I needed a little bit of a break from my work. So I'm gonna get back to it. And if you haven't checked out uh, my Creative Couture, definitely check it out. Actually, before I get off, I will run one sample of just 
do it in the, the same thing in the Instagram. So I have my Instagram. I will go paint gold glam, hit play. And the brushes are the same. The gold paper um, is pretty good. I mean, it's not going to be as glittery as the glitter styles and the creative couture, but all the brushes are the same. So you drop that delicate glitter down and then just play with your different patterns here. Um, and some of these are kind of big, so you can always size them down to like about 50% scale. And then uh, let's pop over into the leopards here. So you've got some cool, you'll see all the different effects. But that's kind of why um, I made the glitter styles is because just for this purpose, um, just to make something that's like really, really, really good glitter. Because the Instaglam paper, um, styles are based off of a lot of um, like gold foil, gold paper, animal prints, and things like that. But they'll work just fine and you've got these brushes. The Payettes collection I think is really nice because Payettes is like um, circle based anyway. So that's pretty cool scrolling through here on the paillettes but with some of the delicate like if you're doing it very delicate size I would scale down that pattern and that looks a lot nicer and then you can always play with your different overlays and uh, desaturate it or change the tone a bit so that's my glitter tutorial for today and I'm going to try to make some kind of tutorial as many days a week as I can I don't want to put a number on it but I'm definitely going to try to keep giving you tips and uh, I really want to help you guys get the most out of these systems and there's so much that you can do with it. Um, so I'm super excited about that and stay tuned for updates and stay tuned for a really exciting new product this week. All right, thanks.